Aloha everybody, it's Molly with All Ears and I am here today with a brand new video and guess where I am? The Polynesian Village Resort. It officially reopens today with brand new Moana inspired rooms. So we are going on a full tour of the Polynesian as a little staycation. I'm going to show you the new rooms. We're going to talk about the dining options here, get some treats, get some fan favorites. I'm going to show you where you can get Ohana food without going to Ohana. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. Let's get to it. First things first, some general info about the Polynesian Village. This is an opening day resort here at Walt Disney World. It's a fan favorite, and of course, it's themed to the Polynesian Islands. Here's a map right here. All of the guest rooms are going to be named after different islands. It's got a monorail connecting it to the Magic Kingdom, and it is just one of the most quintessential and iconic Disney resorts. It's a lot of people's favorite resort of all of the over 20 that they have on Disney property. So I am so happy that it has officially reopened. The Disney Vacation Club portion of it has been reopened for over a year now, but the actual guest rooms have not been opened yet. So today is the first day that they're open and they're brand new theme to Moana. I cannot wait to check them out taking a look in the lobby. Now the refurbishment is not completely done. The monorail station hasn't reopened yet. The Portco share outside isn't completely done. That is also being worked on, but here is the lobby. Um, you can see guests in line here to check in and get all ready, but don't forget you can do the online check-in and then you can go directly to your room with either your magic band or your phone will open up your door. So you can save yourself some time um, by checking in digitally before you get here or on the day you get here. As you can see, you still can't come in the front door when you park and then come in through the portco share. Um, it's kind of blocked off and you'll go around, but ultimately this is what it's gonna look like. Um, so the main part of the portco share was revealed uh, today and you can kind of see some of the light fixtures, but you can't go all the way through yet. And then the monorail platform's not ready yet either. But uh, so right now the monorail is not working here. It's not stopping here, but that is ultimately what it's gonna look like. This lobby just has a most terrific smell. Now, I don't know about you, but I definitely stu do still miss the original fountains and original structure in here. They toned it down a few years ago, um, but I do wish that big giant fountain was still there. All designed by Fred Yorger, who was an Imagineer that specialized in rock work. So he did the rock work like on the Jungle Cruise and here he was a, a real rock star. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Ooh, since it's reopening day, we have a little special treat. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a magical day. Little pog juice. I should take the napkin. That was laid out for me. There we go. Ooh, baby, little pog juice action. They don't always do this, but since it's reopening day, they're giving out pog juice, which is the signature juice at the Polynesian. They have it other places too, but it's definitely known for here. Pog stands for passion fruit orange guava juice. It's the juice that you get at Ohana. You can get it at Kona Cafe. Um, they call it other aliases. It's called jungle juice at Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's called Florida Sunshine over at the Riviera, but pog juice is how most people know and love it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It is so fruity and delightful. If you haven't checked it out already, I did a review of Ohana when it reopened, which is one of the main restaurants here. They have this at breakfast. Their breakfast is really good. Mm, delish. All right, let's keep going. Let's talk about the price of staying at the Polynesian Village Resort. So this is, of course, a deluxe resort, which is Disney's fanciest and most expensive resorts. It's a Magic Kingdom resort. It's literally right across from the Magic Kingdom, and it's a monorail resort, meaning you can take the monorail from your resort over to the Magic Kingdom or to transportation tickets and or transfer to Epcot. So all of those things combined make it one of the most expensive places to stay in all of Walt Disney World. The standard rooms start a little over $600 during the off-peak season and the value season and can go to over $1,000 a night for that peak season. Peak season, of course, think holidays, think Christmas, think New Year's Eve, think Thanksgiving, think 4th of July. Those are the busiest dates. Off-peak season, you can think mid-January, mid-September. It's definitely all going to vary. Now that is just your standard room with your standard view. It only goes up from there. Uh, the most popular rooms and the most exciting rooms are that theme park view where you can actually see the Magic Kingdom and fireworks from outside of your window. Those theme park view rooms start just under $900 and go up to over $1,400 during the peak season. 
And of course, there's a variety of views in between those. You've got a lagoon view, you've got a garden view, but the theme park view is the most exciting. And then it also goes up from there as far as the room type. So you've got your deluxe rooms, you've got your suites, um, all the way up to a presidential suite. So it only goes up from there, but the two most popular kinds of rooms are your standard and your theme park view. One other thing to consider with the price and the transportation is that it is a $25 a day parking fee for self park and $33 a day for valet parking. So you'll want to make sure that you know that as well when you're factoring out your expenses. I love all the old stuff here at the Polynesian. If you look around in some of the displays, you'll see like this old Mickey Mouse comic. You see the Disney uh, Adventure Land Steel Band pictures, Annette Futicello for Pineapple Princess all this kind of vintage Polynesian stuff. Of course, you've got Minnie in her hula gear, so make sure you spend some time looking around the resort. Here's a look at what the rooms looked like originally. Uh, and then this photo right here is Auntie Ku Kalul. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it, but she um, passed away a few years ago, but she was a legendary cast member here that would do the luau and she would greet guests and give out the lays. So I love that they've honored her here. You'll see some of the Imagineers. You see Walt himself up there wearing a lei. Not here, because he didn't make it um, to Walt Disney World. He had passed away before, unfortunately, but just a nod to that. Uh, he loved this style as well. And then you've got Huey, Dewey, and Louie being adorable and goofy and silly little ducks. And of course, more Annette Fudicello. So really cool kind of nod to the original, nod to the theme. <laughs> Looking at the new carpet in the hallway design, look who I see. Already spotted a hey hey in some of this artwork in the hallway. You can look through all of this new carpet and boom, look what I found. A hidden Mickey in the carpet, that's a fun one. Look how great this looks. Okay, time to go in. All right, welcome to the newly renovated rooms at the Polynesian Village. Who's excited? I'm excited. This is one of the best resorts. It's a fan favorite, and I'm excited to check out all the new details in the room. But first impression, it looks awesome. All right, so as you know, the rooms have been rethemed to have touches of Moana in them. But first glance, I definitely see the Moana, but I know a lot of people were worried if it would be too character, too IP, too not original Polynesian feel. But I gotta say, I love it. Um, so let's look at some of those Moana touches. One of the first things I noticed is on the curtains right here, you've got the Heart of Tefiti. Um, in the wallpaper here, you've got Maui and Moana in kind of Maui tattoo design. Oh, also a hidden Mickey right there. And then you've got more of the Polynesian Hawaiian design on the pillows. Let's see. Oh, another hidden Mickey on this turtle right here. I'm taking my shoes off because they're making annoying squeaking noises. Um, let's see. Okay, Hey Hey right here over the coffee maker. Another little touch there. Taking a look in the bathroom. We'll do a full room tour in a second. Um, just looking for Moana right now and found her in the artwork right there. Also in the lamp, you can see um, kind of the waves and the swirl design that you associate with Moana. Um, there's this artwork right here that has her and Pua. And oh, another hidden Mickey down there in the leaves. But there's like this very fun artwork. Then this lamp right here is really cool. Let's see if I can spin it all around. Maybe I need to loosen it. There we go, loosened it up so I can show you all of it. Um, it's got every different character. So Pua, Grandma, the Angry Crab, Dad, the Kakamora, Tafite, Maui, Hey Hey, Moana, of course. So that's a really cool lamp fixture right here in your little reading nook. That's all the Moana I see. All right, now that we've seen all the fun Moana, let's talk about everything in the room. You've got your ice bucket, Keurig coffee maker here, pre-stocked with some K-cups. Um, you've got some tea, some coffee, some decaf. And then under that, you have your little mini fridge there. Not huge, but if you've got medicine or leftovers or something, great to throw some stuff in there. Closet, um, pretty standard closet. You've got a safe here, some good shelf action. 
luggage rack, drawers, extra bedding right there. And then here is the main part of your closet. What I'm weirdly not seeing is an ironing board and an iron, um, but I'm sure you can get one upon request. You can just call the front desk, or maybe since this is opening day, it's just not in there yet, but um, you should be able to get one. Okay, into the bathroom, dual Jack and Jill sink. Love that for getting ready in the morning. A hair dryer. Um, okay, hair dryer, not the best. Ooh, it does come with a diffuser though, bonus points. So you've got a hair dryer. And then you do have some small toiletries. You've got your soap, mouthwash, lotion, the vanity kit, shower cap. Vanity kits are my favorite because they come with like a safety pin and a cotton ball and stuff. So those are always great. Um, hello. And then here is the uh, royal throne here. And like any good hotel room, you can if you can figure out how to work these doors, which I clearly cannot. Don't you like? What's happening? technical difficulties oh okay you push that little thing then you can slide that baby closed that is nifty so you can have some privacy there shower a uh, good size shower and tub you've got your shampoo conditioner body wash there then I love the detail in the shower too just kind of the print of uh, the Hawaiian style print and then let's turn this on Oh, it starts down there. I, I panicked for nothing. Um, okay. And then it goes to there. And then it goes up there. Wow. All right, back in the main room. This is a standard room. So you've got your two queens here. Nice big beds. Love these little benches for extra seating or you can put your luggage on there. Lots of room under there for your suitcases. Got your center console here with a drawer and cabinet space, phone, uh, and then you've got the light right here. These light switches are controlling the middle ones, and then you've got some on the sides as well for reading. Additional for reading, each person has one of these that automatically comes on when you pull it out of there. So that's a nice little reading light for you. If you wanna stay up late and read your book club book, maybe that's what I'm gonna do, you don't know. TV and TV stand. Love the hidden storage under that coffee table right there. There's storage all over the place in here. Um, you've got your big TV, remote right here, outlets everywhere as well. Always handy. Another spot for outlets. Both of the beds on the side have these little tables for your phone and a plug and everything. I love when they do that. Um, so each person can put their phone and or whatever else they need easily um, at night. We have these two little marble tables in here. Those can easily move around if you want to have a snack or you want to eat in here. Little reading nook and chair with that awesome Moana lamp. A couple different settings for the curtains. You've got the light sunscreen and then you've got the darker, thicker blackout curtains. And let's go check out the balcony. It's a little loud out here, but there's a couple of chairs and then a little table. This is just your standard room, standard. Um, so it's not gonna have the best view. It's a nice view though. Um, and you can upgrade yourself if you want. It's a premium, but you can upgrade to like a, a theme park room and then you can actually see the fireworks from your balcony. All right, let's take a look at this couch right here. This also pulls out so you can have extra fun and space in there. So let's, let me see if I can figure out how to do it. Oh my gosh, wait, I think this is super easy. I think you hit this. Yep, things are happening. I'm gonna use my body weight because I got one. Okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Look, 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 look how easy this is. I did it with one hand, mostly. And then, let's see, there you go. So this is like a little single bed situation because I can't pull out anymore because then you'd run into that bed. So um, you have like a little single bed there and then you've got that extra bedding in the closet so you can have a fifth person in here. I'm about 5'7". So, all right, I guess I could sleep on here. Anyone taller than me is not, my feet are touching the end and my head is almost touching the end here. So if you're taller than like five, seven, I think this is not gonna be comfortable for you, but if you are a child, this will be great or short. If you are Morgan, this would be ample room. 
And you know, there's only one thing left to do in this room. <sighs> very nice, very comfy. A little firm, feels like it's gonna be great. I love these new rooms. Happy to be back at the Poly. <sighs> okay, nap time. Just kidding, we gotta eat stuff. As I mentioned, there is a Disney Vacation Club portion of the Polynesian Village. Um, they only have two types of room though. They have studios, which sleep up to five. And then they have these magnificent, talk about bucket list, room of a lifetime, on the water bungalows that sleep up to eight. They have their own private patio. They have their own private hot tub on the patio. Fireworks view of Magic Kingdom right on the water. Talk about goals and lifetime bucket list place I want to stay at Walt Disney World. Now, just because um, they are Disney Vacation Club, anybody can stay there. Anybody can rent a Disney Vacation Club room here or anywhere else, um, just like booking any other hotel room. So you can stay there if you've got a little bit bigger of a party or maybe you're splurging a little bit, you can stay at the Disney Vacation Club rooms um, if that is something that you think your party would benefit from. The buildings at the Polynesian are all named after islands of the Polynesian makes sense right um, so here you have your great ceremonial house this is the main building with the lobby with ohana with kona cafe trader sam's all the main things are right there in the great ceremonial house that's also where the monorail stand is um, and then you've got your other buildings going out you've got some here to the right of the great ceremonial house you've got your main lava pool there um, and then you've got your other pools uh, other buildings this way and again they're all named things like Samoa and Hawaii and Tokelo uh, you've got your laundry facilities your villas over here your Disney Vacation Club villas and then your Bora Bora bungalows out on the sea so it's not a huge huge resort it's definitely sizable but it's not as big or as spread out as some of the other resorts at Walt Disney World um, however if you wanted to put in a room request for something close to the Great Ceremonial House Tonga is very very close Rarotonga is also very close, um, so those are all great options. But if you want something a little bit quieter, you're gonna, of course, wanna ask for some of these further out locations. Let's talk a little bit more about the perks of staying at the Polynesian. So not only do you have a deluxe resort with a view of Magic Kingdom, you can literally see the fireworks out there at night. They will pump the music out onto the beach, some of the best restaurants. Those are all huge perks of staying at the Polynesian. But a big one is transportation. Right now, the monorail service is not working. Um, it's not running until they complete the monorail platform, but typically you do have the monorail that can take you over to Magic Kingdom. You also have the monorail that can take you to Transportation Ticket Center, which can then take the monorail over to Epcot. Well, actually right next to the Transportation Ticket Center, it's much faster to walk over there than it would be to try and take the monorail all the way around to the Transportation Ticket Center and then take the Epcot monorail. So if you are staying here when the monorail is open, walk to the TTC and then take the monorail over to Epcot. The Grand Floridian and the Polynesian share boat service, so you can take a boat that will take you over to the Magic Kingdom. Other entertainment you can see, you can see the electrical water pageant at night from the Polynesian, another iconic must do, uh, definitely a classic kind of kitschy Disney thing. You can see that out there. Um, and right now, since the monorail is not running, there is bus service over to the Magic Kingdom. And then there's bus service to the other parks, Disney Springs, the water parks as well. So those are all huge perks. Also, it hasn't started yet, but starting in October, you will be eligible for the early park hours that they're doing at the new parks. It's 30 minutes before the parks open. We will cover all of that and how it's all working when it happens. Um, and because this is a deluxe resort and a deluxe villa resort, you'd also be eligible for that after park hours. And again, it's only available for the deluxe and deluxe villa resorts. This would qualify. So that's another perk of being here. If you're not in a big rush to get to the parks, I really think the boats are a very fun way to get there, a very relaxing and beautiful way to get there, sailing on Seven Seas Lagoon with the view of the other Magic Kingdom monorail resorts and Cinderella Castle coming into view. Um, it's just definitely not the fastest form of transportation. It kicks off a little bit later um, and it is a little bit slower than the bus, but it shouldn't take more than five, 10 minutes once you're actually on the boat. I wouldn't even say 10 minutes to get over to the Magic Kingdom. The boat dock for the Polynesian is just past the main pool. This is where you can get that boat that will take you to the Magic Kingdom. Um, keep in mind on your way back, you're gonna make a pit stop at the Grand Floridian first, and then you will um, head back to the Polynesian after your beautiful day at the Magic Kingdom. But uh, uh, definitely a very relaxing form of transportation. You can walk directly from the Polynesian to the Magic Kingdom. You would have to take the pathway in between the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian over this way, and then continue on the new pathway over to the Magic Kingdom from the Grand Floridian. 
All in all, it would be about a 20, 25 minute walk, depending on how fast you walk. Um, I can walk the pathway from the Grand to the Magic Kingdom in about 10, um, walking at a normal pace faster if I go faster, but I'm a very fast walker and I'm by myself, no kids, no wheelchairs, nothing in tow. Um, so I would say that walks about 10 minutes. And then this walk from the Polynesian, depending on where you start over to the Grand Floridian, also, 10-ish minutes, so I would budget 20 to probably 30 minutes for the average family to get all the way over there, especially if you've got kids or strollers or wheelchairs or anything. So um, it's doable, but for some people, it's probably a little bit too far of a walk. And keep in mind, you're gonna go walk around a theme park all day. Do you really wanna start your day with a 30 minute walk? So it's an option for you. However, most people elect to use the monorail when it's operating, the boats um, or the bus, which is operating right now. We are gonna grab some lunch now at Captain Cook's. This is one of my favorite quick service restaurants in all of Disney because of one specific dish that I just ordered for lunch, but it is your quick service here at the Poly. It's got standard fare, but some of it has that fun Polynesian flair. It's actually very, very good. So let's go get this dish. I haven't had it in forever. I'm so excited. I mobile ordered for Captain Cook's. They're definitely encouraging that for this one, which makes it really easy if you're like out at the pool, you can mobile order from your phone, come in and get your food, and then they can pack it to go. So then you can take it out to the pool or back to your room, or you can eat it in here, whatever your heart desires. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. They are open late. Um, they used to be open 24 hours. They have an Asian inspired noodle soup. They have a superfood salad. The Polynesian favorites, they've got Thai coconut meatballs, which are fantastic. Um, Pan-Asian nudes and veggies and Aloha pork sandwich. Uh, and then here's your American entrees. They've got a burger, a um, plant-based burger, chicken wings. Those are great. Looking at the kids meal, they've got cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, uncrustables, turkey sandwich, chicken and pineapple skewers. But what we are getting is something special. It's not posted on that menu, but I promise it exists and I can't wait. They do breakfast here as well. You can get Tonga toast, you can get classics uh, like bacon and eggs. You can get a lot of different pastries. Those you can get all the time. Um, and then this is also a great spot where you can get some of their specialty cupcakes. They've got an Aloha cupcake and a Moana cupcake right now, but we are saving ourselves for a sweet treat from somewhere else. Also though, you can get Mickey bars here. It's very important information, but this is not the best place to get dessert at this resort, spoiler alert got my food so just gonna grab something to drink they've got self-service drinks here um, sodas iced tea water coffee and then you've also got your condiment station all right in here here they are in all their glory Captain Cook's pulled pork nachos these are literally one of my favorite Disney foods I'm obsessed with them they are house-made chips and house-made wonton chips so you got two different kind of chip situation going on you have Hawaiian pulled pork cheese sauce pico de gallo that's got red onion in it and pineapple on there so they are like sweet salty cheesy meaty everything you've ever wanted in one dish this is how excited I am. I have not had these in forever because when the parks were reopened, these weren't on the menu when the Polynesian Village, uh, the DVC part wasn't reopened. Then they've come back, then they left again. It's been a whole saga and I'm glad that they've been back for a while now and you can mobile order them. That's what I did, but I'm gonna get a good one. Look at this, look at this deliciousness. <coughs> that cheese, get some scoops of meat. Yep, we're just, it's gonna be not pretty, but. They are so good. I want to cry a little bit. We've got this yummy cheese sauce. Pico de gallo. Love the crunch and the bite from the red onion. The sweetness from the pineapple. The two different chips. I like the wonton chips. They're like fluffy almost. And then you've also got these house made chips. Mm. It's so good. Really mild. Not a lot of spice. Not a lot of heat. Anyone should enjoy this. And the meat itself is cooked perfectly. It's so tender. It is so fabulous and delicious. It's obviously a huge portion, definitely a shareable, because there's a lot of good stuff to eat here. We're gonna eat a lot at the Polynesian. Um, but these are one of my all-time favorite Disney quick service meals right here. So happy to enjoy it here at the Polynesian. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. 
let's talk a little bit about some of the recreation options you can do when you're staying at the Polynesian. So they do have a bonfire here. It's usually a BYOSS situation, which is bring your own s'more stuff. I recommend grabbing that before you get here or Amazon priming now it, but they will sell little kits um, that you can do the s'mores at the outdoor s'more campfires. Um, they also do the movies out on the beach. So every night they will pull, inflate a big screen and you can watch a Disney movie out here on the beach next to the water. You're going to have your typical recreation um, free of charge activities at the pool, such as the games and the trivia. There's also boating and fishing here available for an extra charge. And then there are some other family and kids activities that you can pay a little bit more to do um, different crafts. They'll do tie dye. They will do a really cool necklace making here. In fact, one of this random child just let me put a bead on her necklace. You can watch that clip here. Oh, this is a tricky one. Did I do it? Okay. Put that down there. Is that right? Then I take both these. Is that right so far? Do I pull it tight now and then put the bead on or put the bead on now? Okay. Put it on there. And then put it down at the bottom. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's not tight enough. I don't want to mess up your beautiful necklace. There we go. <laughs> Disclaimer I very much know the child and her mother and she let me do it so that I could show you what the beads like but it's really cool it's $15 for kids $20 for adults for those necklaces so there are a bunch of fun recreation activities you can do if you have a resort day which I absolutely 1000% recommend if you're staying somewhere like the poly a little more recreation fun for you the recreation cast members will set up lawn games out here sometimes there's some cornhole there's some hula hoops um, these are all complimentary so if you feel like playing a little lawn game and that's set up absolutely enjoy yourself Another fun recreation activity is the movie Under the Stars. Um, it is on the Oasis pool deck over at that quieter pool. And then there are different movies on certain nights of the week. They'll blow up that big screen. You can watch the movie Under the Stars and enjoy yourself on the pool deck. Ooh, great movie lineup. Cindy, Toy Story, Goofy Movie, Raya. Great, great choices. If fishing on the seven seas lagoon or taking a boat out on the lagoon sounds like fun to you you'll want to come down to the seven seas marina here next to the main pool this is where you can rent a boat book your fishing tours they'll get you all set up now keep in mind not everything is available right now you can also book these things in advance which i definitely recommend doing if that is something um, that is important to your family you want to go ahead and get that locked in before you get here so uh, 407 WDW play is the phone number for all recreation activities. You can also book your fireworks cruises that way. If you would like to book a fireworks cruise um, around the Magic Kingdom, some of them leave from the Contemporary, some will leave from the Grand. I believe some will leave from here as well. Another great recreation activity, there is a running trail. Um, you can take that pathway that will also get you to the Magic Kingdom. You can run that from the Polynesian to the Grand. You can come back. You could go all the way to the Magic Kingdom and all the way to the Contemporary, but unfortunately you can't get from the Contemporary to the Polynesian again. So you'd have to U-turn somewhere around there. Um, but there is that running trail if you're the kind of person that jogs on vacation. I am not that kind of person. I choose not to jog um, ever if I can avoid it, but I'm proud of you if you are. We are outside of Boutique, which is the main merchandise store here. There is another one upstairs. We'll check that one out as well. But Boutique is your biggest merchandise shop. It's where you're going to find most of your fun Disney items, as well as they have a lot of really cool Polynesian specific stuff in here for us to look at. Like, for example, they come out with really cool mugs and really cool exclusive dishes that sell out so fast. They have to restock them consistently like this amazing pineapple. I'm sorry, not pineapple. That's a coconut. I know fruits. Coconut mug. Um, they also sell some of the Trader Sam's cups in here. Very, very exciting. All the different tiki stuff. They have actually a Trader Sam's chip and dip bowl set going on right now as well as a Polynesian Village Tervis. I love that one. Other items that I love that they sell here at the Polynesian Village at Boutique, um, you've got a lot of designer shirts, like you will find a good Tommy Bahama collection, you will find Vineyard Vines, you will sometimes find Lily Pulitzer, and you can actually, Ray-Ban, you can actually use if you have a discount and annual pass or DVC or something like that, you can use that on those products. So like here is some of the 
Disney Parks Tommy Bahama collab. How cute is that with like the little Mickeys? Literally adorable. Here's some of the ladies Tommy Bahama collab. Look at that mini. But you can use your discount on it, which is great. Like it's, it's pricey stuff. It's designer stuff. So Tommy Bahama's 110 for that sleeveless dress. And then we've got some more of the Tommy Bahama collection here, as well as here is some of the Lily Pulitzer. You can get that here. And again, use your discount friends. Use your discounts if you have them on this merchandise. Here we've got a good selection of Disney apparel, um, but probably most importantly for actually staying at this resort is there is a good selection of bathing suits, cover-ups, towels, flip-flops, sunscreen. So if you forgot that kind of stuff or you somehow need a new Minnie Mouse bathing suit, which, wait, like, how cute is that? Do I need a new Minnie Mouse bathing suit? What is happening? Um, if you forgot something like that, they will have it available here for you. We've got a small selection of home goods here, mugs, kitchen things, etc. And then my favorite thing that they sell here, they actually have a bunch of stuff from Hawaii, actually from Hawaii, different macadamia nut treats. I love a macadamia nut. So they've got the chocolate covered macadamia nuts there. And then a lot of different products from Honolulu cookies. So these are these signature shortbreads that are actually from Hawaii and they have a variety of different ones here. The Polynesian is so beloved it even has its own clothing line which is fabulous. They have these dresses that have the little tiki god that's seen in the lobby. They've got tank tops. They've got a family collection. Okay you've got boy shirts, girls dresses, men's shirts, ladies dresses. I'm just saying your Christmas card could be tiki fabulous. Mail me a copy. Um, a robe. You want to have a robe at a deluxe resort. Got your Polynesian Village robe and then a couple of different shirts. Some of those cups again. Some of the things have stitch on them because of course it's a very stitch friendly environment here. A very cute shirt of Mickey at the Polynesian. I love that one. I might buy that one even though it's a kid's shirt. Another stitch inspired design here. And then one thing that's very cool that they've started doing is selling stuff from Alani, Disney's Hawaiian property. They have a bunch of characters that they bring out at Alani, like the little turtle. He's right here, he's very cute. This is one of Duffy's friends. Um, Duffy, if you don't know who that is, is the Disney bear from Tokyo. And Olumel is the Disney turtle that lives in Alani. So you can see that they've got all kinds of Olumel products. If you're a fan of this turtle, you could literally just go wild. Look, you could get a Meli Kalikimaki Olumel Santa hat if you wanted to. Also, you could wear this on your head. Like, look at Duffy the Disney bear and all his friends. That's Duffy. That's Olumel. That's Shelly Mae. Cat, I think, is Gelatoni. I don't know the bunny off the top of my head. So, oh my gosh, you can dress him up. You can get a turtle satchel. What is happening? So much fun. So much fun. Gonna grab ourselves a little snack at the recently reopened Kona Island Coffee Bar. So they've got a variety of coffees and teas. A couple of them can be made boozy, but you know me, I'm about to get myself a delicious coffee here. Um, and then they also have a very fun bakery case, which features two things primarily. Um, they have a wide variety of different covered strawberries. So look at all these. These are all like chocolate plus covered strawberries. You've got bacon covered, roasted almond, caramelized nuts, Oreo, m and sprinkles, classic covered strawberries. And then more exciting though, they actually have a variety of chocolate covered bacon. This will sell out. A couple of the flavors are already gone today, but that is a bacon with some um, candied nuts on there. There's dark chocolate. And then they are already sold out today of the dark chocolate chili and the seasonal, which has got coconut and pineapple on it. And if you're like, oh, let's get wild, I wanna try all of them. They have a to-go box where you can get all of the coconut, I'm sorry, all of the bacons in one convenient grab. Okay, it's time to have a bacon party. First, it's time to have a coffee party though, the most important kind of party. That is so fabulous. That is just an iced latte. All the coffee at Kona Island is made with their Kona blend Joffrey's that's specially made for the resort. So regular iced latte, didn't add any sweetener or anything to it. Absolutely fabulous. You can get any of the drinks there, hot or iced, and it's delicious. But now it's a bacon party. 
We have four different bacons. Um, we have a, this is the seasonal special. It's a pineapple coconut bacon. This one is a candied nut bacon. This one is a dark chocolate chili. And then this is just regular dark chocolate. And each piece, air quotes, is actually two pieces. And they're regular by themselves, $4 each, which isn't a lot for a big bacon snack. First up, I'm gonna go with the classic, the regular bacon. Mm. So you have the smoky bacon, which is excellent, and it's got like smoky peppery bacon, and then you've got dark chocolate on it, lots of dark chocolate, good quality chocolate. So it's a perfect sweet, smoky, salty situation. Now let's go on to the nut, candied nut bacon. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the addition of the crunch, added a little saltiness, but it mostly added texture, same flavor profile. Now let's try the coconut and pineapple. Could it get more Polynesian? I don't think so. Mm. So that one adds an extra layer of sweetness because you've got the toasted coconut, but then you also have the candied pineapple. I wish the coconut flavor was stronger, the pineapple stronger than that, but still very good and very Polynesian. And now the one I'm most excited to try, which is the dark chocolate chili. I want to get the most chili. That one is for sure my favorite. I wish I had more chili, but then you've got the heat from the chili flakes, the salty peppery bacon, and then the dark chocolate sweetness. I love all those combos together. That one's my favorite. I think followed probably by the one with the nuts, then the regular one, and then the candied pineapple one. I wanted the coconut to come out more, but I think this is a really fun and unique treat. Um, in the morning, they'll do pastries and stuff here, so it's a great spot to come just for a quick breakfast and a cup of coffee. So that's Kona Island. The second merchandise location at the Polynesian Village is up on the second story of the lobby and it's called Moana Mercantile. So this is gonna be some of your more necessities for travel, um, some snacks, some toiletries, as well as a lot of kids stuff. So let's check it out. First of all, if you're a Press Penny fan, um, ooh, should I get one? I don't have 51 cents, but there's a shark one and I appreciate that. Mini and Pocahontas, weirdly, um, but then there's also the Lilo and Stitch collection here. In this first half of Moana Mercantile, this is where you're going to find some of your toiletries as well as some grocery items. Again, there's a Disney Vacation Club portion of this resort, so there may be some people that are staying a little bit later, or those um, rooms have kitchens, so you can have they've got some stuff. Of course, it's less expensive if you do like a grocery delivery service, um, Amazon Prime Now or Instacart or something. Uh, they've also got some booze, if you'd like to bring that back to your room, as well as some other drinks, a small selection of toiletries, as well as baby care, travel items in case you forgot anything. They've got some medicines, Lysol wipes, diapers, bottles, baby food, combs, strollers even. So a good little selection there of that kind of item. And then on the other side of the store, just a couple more snacks, some generic not Disney items. Pop-Tarts, peanut butter and jelly stuff, oatmeal, some small breakfasty things if you're a breakfast as you get ready kind of person. And they also have a decent selection of Disney branded snacks. So Goofy's Candy Company, Chippendale Snack Company, if you'd like those items. The second half of Moana Mercantile is definitely focused on kids and toys. So they've got a lot of toys that you'll see around Walt Disney World. In here, the dolls, board games, plushes, big selection of that kind of item. This is also where you'll find most of your kids apparel as well as pool toys, some kids stuff up here. Look how cute this Nemo bucket is. Um, Cause they do have a beach out here at the Polynesian. So if you want to hit the beach and you didn't bring your sand toys, they've got you covered here as well as goggles, swim swimsuits, um, floaties. Look at that Moana swimsuit. How cute is that? And if you're a Moana or a Stitch fan, you're gonna wanna check this out because they have a wide variety of merchandise from both of them. Some of this, again, is from Alani. Like this is an Alani shirt with the Kakamora on there. These are actually Alani ears that they have here um, as well as they've got some tank tops, some other 
Moana themed toys, backpack, etc. And then they've got a, a decent sized stitch collection as well. This is basically turning into Molly's eating and drinking adventures around the Polynesian, but that's the best thing to do at the Polynesian. So we are about to go into Trader Sam's, the legendary Grog Grotto bar here at the Polynesian. It's reopening today as a surprise along with the hotel. This is that really fun Jungle Cruise themed adventure bar um, that is going to have fun drinks. Things happen in the bar when you order certain drinks. They've got a lot of tropical beverages. They've got some munchies and stuff in there. We're going to go in and check it out. Trader Sam's is using a virtual line right now. So you are gonna wanna get here early and get checked in for that virtual line and they'll text you when it's your turn to come back. Keep in mind that they open at three. Anybody's available and welcome to come in at three. They close at midnight, but after 8 p.m., 21 and up older. So mom and dad, just for you at eight o'clock and later. look around there are fun Easter eggs like in this case right here you can see the first dollar um, as you may know a lot of bars and restaurants will hang the first dollar they ever made so there's the first dollar also in this case this hilarious book that's called eating people is wrong and a little orange bird right there there's a name tag up here and then also on this coin right next to that boa near the skull it actually says um sergeant pepper's lonely heart club band on it and beatles fans will know that's a beatles song that's to commemorate the fact that john legend signed the pa john legend john lennon sorry signs the paperwork that ended the beatles officially here at the polynesian in the 70s so that's another cool easter egg another great one behind the bar Maui's hook is hiding there, so that's another fun one. The menu here is, of course, tropical Hawaiian drinks. You see a lot of pineapple, you see a lot of juice, um, but what's really fun is some of the drinks actually, actually trigger things to happen around the bar. So um, if you get the Nautilus, they'll make everyone pretend like they're underwater and they'll squirt people with squirt guns. If you get the Oa, it actually is on fire and you throw cinnamon on it. Um, if you get the Polynesian Pearl, there's a big pearl at the bar that will open up. I just got the Hippopotamai Thai, um, which makes them say, how do you get the hippo down from that tree? Two shots of rum. So let's give it a whirl. All right, gonna try the Hippopata Mai Tai. First of all, this is a bendy straw, even though it's paper. I don't know how I feel about that. They used to have like really fun, neon, brightly colored swirly straws, which I understand the environment's important, but I do like those straws. Ooh! I was worried that was gonna be really sweet, and you probably know I don't like sweet drinks, but it's actually got a nice tartness. Definitely taste the rum. Ooh, baby, is that a rum drink? Most of them are rum drinks in here, but it's balanced out pretty nicely with the with the juices, a little sweet, a little tartness. Yeah, that's pretty fabulous. So the Hippopotamai Thai has two kinds of rum. It's got orange liqueur, it's got almond, it's got fresh lime juice, and agave nectar. So the orange and the lime is really balancing out the rums, and because there's two kinds of rum, and you can taste it, it's not super, super sweet because there's not a lot of juice or anything in this one. Um, it's got orange curacao, that's what the orange is. Whilst in Trader Sam's, also going to grab a little nosh. This is their most popular dish. The server said this was the best dish. This is a Thai chicken flatbread with bacon and a peanut sauce, which sounds amazing. So we continue our eating tour around the Polynesian. Mm. Okay, I love peanut sauce. And so there's a generous amount of peanut sauce on there. That's the strongest flavor. Not getting a ton from the green onions. But getting lots of the peanut sauce. Lots of cheese. I, it's not the best crust ever. It is the flatbread, but it's not super crispy. It, it's kind of doughy. Definitely unique, definitely good. Best food at the poly. 
I think you may be better off still getting something from Captain Cook's. I like those nachos way more. I like Ohana food way more. But still good. If you're in Trader Sam's and want a nosh, I don't think it'll be bad. Also swipe in a sip of my dates drink. This is the zombie. This is another one that when you order it, something fun happens. Um, but the zombie is made also with a um, couple different kinds of rum. It's got Gosling's 151 Black Seal Rum. It's got Appleton Rum, Estate Eight Year Reserve. It's got Bacardi Reserve, Ocho Rum. So four rums, tropical juices, flaternum, and cinnamon. It's a lot of things, flaternum. 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 Ooh. Okay, I like the Mai Tai more, but this one definitely has that cinnamony flavor, and it's got that tropical flavor. So it's still got the tropical juices. You can taste the pineapple. You can actually taste the rum more in the Mai Tai because of the cinnamon and the tropical juices in this one, but I think this one has more rum. So if you want something sweeter but not so, so sweet, the cinnamon will help balance this one out. The other really fun ones to get here are the Nautilus. That one comes in a cup that is actually shaped like the Nautilus. That one's designed for two, as well as the uh Oa is my favorite one because it comes with cinnamon and it's literally on fire. And you throw the cinnamon on the fire and it will like make the flames bigger and it makes the volcano goddess uh Oa very mad. But this one's good too. This one's just a little bit too sweet for me. It's, it's not too, too sweet, but I like the other one better. I love Trader Sam's. I think it is so much fun. It's definitely one of the best parts of the Polynesian. The original Trader Sam's is over at the Disneyland Hotel out in California, and it's just really fun. It's a great environment. It's a lot of people's favorite lounge in all of Disney World. It's definitely loud. It's definitely crowded. You have to be into that sort of thing. You have to love that they're going to squirt you with squirt guns, and they're going to chant, and that the volcano is going to go off. But it's a really, really quintessential and exciting part of staying at the Polynesian or visiting the Polynesian. So get there early. Get yourself on that virtual line, because it will close when they are full for the day. If the idea of being in the dark, loud, crowded Trader Sam's isn't for you, they do have Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace right out here next to Captain Cook's. You can order off of the Trader Sam's menu all of the different cocktails. Um, they don't have the shenanigans that is going to happen inside of the bar itself. Um, but today they have a live musician out here and you can just sit out here and have a nice Tiki cocktail if that's more your speed. One thing good to note, they serve everything out here in a plastic cup, um, but if you get something and you want the souvenir cup, you just take your receipt right inside and they'll give you a brand new of whichever souvenir cup um, goes with your drink. So you can still get the souvenir cups out here, it's just not going to be served in that cup. The next stop on this now eating tour of the Polynesian Village, the Tambu Lounge. This is their indoor lounge that is right next to Ohana, and it's one of my favorite lounges in all of Walt Disney World. Why, you may ask yourself? Because secret menu alert, you can order the Ohana appetizers and dessert after four o'clock here, and you don't even have to go to Ohana. You can just eat the nudes, the pot stickers, the wings, and the bread pudding right here at the Tambu Lounge. So. Very excited to go get that right now, along with a classic Polynesian cocktail. Let's keep eating. Right next to the Tambu Lounge is, of course, Ohana, one of the most popular restaurants in all of Walt Disney World. This is that all-you-care-to-enjoy meal. It's open for breakfast and dinner. It used to have the meat skewers. They're not doing the meat skewers right now, but it still has all those amazing sides, which is my favorite part of Ohana. But like I said, you can get these items at Tambu Lounge right next door. However, if you want to see a full review of Ohana, I did a video I went for both breakfast and dinner recently, so we'll link that for you if you want to see what Ohana looks like now. Taking a look at the Tambu Lounge menu, this is where you're going to get a lot of those classic cocktails, like the Back Scratcher, that's been around since opening day, literally comes with a Back Scratcher. You've got a Mai Tai, an Island Iced Tea, a Puka Punch, the Lapu Lapu, that's the one served in a pineapple. Um, you have the Hawaiian Mule, which I had on Ohana opening day. Then you've got some of the classic Disney cocktails that you can get at a lot of the lounges around Walt Disney World, the Magical Star Cocktail with that Glow Cube. Um, the the Pina Colava, which is the Miami Vice. They've got a lot of beers as well, including a lot of beers from Hawaii, either with Maui Brewing Company, Kona Brewing Company. Um, and then they've also got an 
uh, a Pog Juice IPA that actually comes out of Georgia, but I had that last time I went to Kona for dinner. You can do a beer flight with some of the Kona Brewing Company beers. Those are some of my favorite beers. And then they have a selection of wines and rosé and reds. And last but not least, they also have some non-alcoholic mocktails for you to enjoy. The Tambu Feast is here. So first things first, we have a back scratcher. This is Bacardi rum, dark rum, guava, passion fruit juice, topped with Jack Daniels, and it literally comes with a bamboo back scratcher. And then this is the Lapu Lapu, that iconic drink served in a real pineapple. It's dark rum, juices, topped with some 151, literally inside a pineapple. And then we have the Ohana Feast, all the best parts of Ohana, IMO. You've got the wings, you've got the pork pot stickers, you've got the pineapple bread pudding, and you have the love of my life, the nudes. First things first, let's try the back scratcher. It literally has a back scratcher in it. A nice take home for you. Ooh. Okay, that definitely, you can taste the whiskey, you can taste the rum, but you can also taste the passion fruit, I would say, is the strongest fruity flavor. So it's a good mix of boozy and fruity. Not overwhelmingly sweet, but definitely sweeter than I normally drink things, but I think the, the Jack helps with that. But I do like the take home of a back scratcher that you can literally, this has been around since the resort opened, so this is a classic. All right, time for the iconic Lapu Lapu, if I can even pick it up. Look at that thing. That is a monster. It just tastes like the Polynesian. It's a must-have when you come to the Polynesian. It's definitely sweet. I can't deny that, which goes against everything I stand for, but it's served out of a fresh pineapple, so I love it. Definitely boozy, though, too, so watch out. This one is dangerous. But... I, I, I feel like it's just a must-have. You have to drink a lot of pulapu when you come to the Polynesian. Maybe it's one you share with another friend. Sweet, rum, boozy, pineapple. Those are the flavors it tastes like. Let's get into all these Ohana goodies. Mm. Just as good as Ohana. Got those pork pot stickers. Mm. The chicken wings are one of my favorites. They're perfectly sweet. There's a little bit of sweet and then salty. Cooked amazingly. They're not over sauced. Sometimes the ones at Kono can be over sauced, but these are not over sauced. And now, my true love, the teriyaki nudes. They're just a little bit sweet, perfectly cooked. I'm obsessed with them. I'm so glad they're back. And let's top it all off with a. Uh, Little pineapple bread pudding here. It's amazing. So if you're like me and you think these things I'm eating, oh my gosh, it's so pineapple-y and perfect. And it's got that caramel sauce. If you're like me and you think the best parts of Ohana are the sides, especially now that they're not doing the meat skewers and they've got the alternates to the skewers, $55 is a lot to eat at Ohana. And you can come get the secret menu items here after four. The only catch is, Again, it's secret menu, it's only after four, and you cannot take it to go. You used to be able to get this stuff to go, now you have to eat at the bar. But no regrets. One thing I do wanna point out about getting the Ohana items at the Tambu Lounge is they can be pretty pricey. Um, each item is about $12 a dish, so you're gonna pay like $12 for the bread pudding, $12 for the noodles, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but if you add that all up, if you get all four things, it's a little bit less than Ohana per person, which is $55, and you can all split it, but you're not getting everything. So it's up to you to decide if that's something that you wanna do, but I personally would rather come get the sides and split them and the dessert and split them someone here um, than spend the money at Ohana all the time. So just, uh, just another option for you. And of course, it wouldn't be the Polynesian village without a white sand beach. There's literally a beautiful white sand beach just past the pools here at the Polynesian that you are welcome to lounge in and enjoy. Now you can't get into the water, like into Seven Seas Lagoon, but you're not too far from the pools. You can bring your towels out here if you want, or they've got some chairs and some swings, and it is absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm out here pretty early in the morning for a little morning relaxation situation, and look, there's Cinderella Castle right across the water. 
you look a little over to the right, you can see Space Mountain as well. But this beach is so relaxing, it's so beautiful. And don't forget one of the best things about the Polynesian is that it's right across from Magic Kingdom. So at night you can see happily ever after right here on the beach, they will actually pump the music in and you can sit right here on the beach, listen to happily ever after and watch it from right here. And you also can't miss the electric water pageant. That is a long time running, almost 50 year running staple, classic, quintessential Disney. It's a little bit kitschy, but it is fun. It is that water pageant that sails by. Definitely check uh, with the front desk for the times of when it will come by the Polynesian itself, but you will see um, some characters from Disney music. You'll hear some Disney songs, <sighs> but it's so great. I love it. I love it all. And you can see it all from this beach right here. How perfect is that? Good morning. It's breakfast time. We are headed to Kona Cafe, which is a full service restaurant for breakfast. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Classic food with that Polynesian flair. So they've got stir fry, they've got pot stickers, um, they've got noodles, they've got steak, they've got salads. Um, at breakfast, you can get Tonga toast, that legendary Polynesian offering. But don't forget, Ohana also recently reopened and does that all you care to enjoy breakfast that I reviewed recently. And if you are looking for a quicker breakfast, don't forget Kona Island does serve some sandwiches, grab and go as well as some coffees. And Captain Cook's is the quick service restaurant downstairs. You can get Tonga toast there as well and quick service breakfast. So lots of options in the morning. But we are gonna head to Kona, which I think is one of the best and most underrated restaurants in Disney. The menu at Kona Cafe for breakfast does still feature that iconic Tonga toast, which is that fruit stuffed um, fried rolled French toast that's so fabulous. They also have macadamia nut pancakes. They have a two eggs any style, which is kind of your classic breakfast. They have a plant-based option and then some great sides. So lots of, you know, kind of simple classic breakfast, but it's gonna have that Polynesian flair that everything has here. And then at lunch and dinner, they've got steaks and salads and noodle bowls and pot stickers and wings. Um, and again, Polynesian goodies um, that are gonna have a lot of that teriyaki and spices and coconut and pineapple and kind of that same flavor profile that you see throughout the resort. But the Kona Cafe is definitely an underrated restaurant in my opinion, a lot easier to get a reservation at than say Ohana. And if you're staying here, especially it's a great spot to come grab a quick and easy breakfast. If you want to sit down, have a little bit more slower paced breakfast. Um, or if you are staying at one of the other monorail resorts, or I like coming here if I'm doing a long Magic Kingdom day for, a, for an early dinner or a late breakfast and enjoying some AC and a nice meal um, and getting out of the heat of busyness of the park for a little bit. When I dine at Kona, I like to enjoy the pressed pot Kona Hawaiian coffee. It serves two for $9.50, so it's a couple cups in there. It comes with cream and or sugar, whichever one you'd prefer. It serves two. Definitely feel like I can handle this as one, but this is their specialty brew. It's got a little extra caffeine, a little extra buzz. It's a lot fancier coffee. Granted, all the coffee at this resort is fabulous, but I like to get this little treat yourself moment, if you will. Yum. Okay, I'm not a coffee snob by any means. I don't know what good coffee is like to buy it, but I know it to taste it. And that is it. That is fabulous. It's so rich and bold and smooth. And if you're a coffee drinker, definitely recommend getting coffee somewhere in the Polynesian because it's all this specialty Kona blend um, that you can get here at the Polynesian. You can also buy it bagged if you want to take it home. It's by Joffrey's. But the press pot, ooh, baby. Mm, it, it doesn't even need the cream. It is so smooth and so delicious. Yes, please, I will drink this whole pot sitting here. Whilst the Tonga toast is definitely the most iconic thing, I couldn't resist trying the macadamia nut pancakes because I absolutely love macadamia nuts. So it's two, three big fluffy pancakes with macadamia nuts baked in. It's got that iconic macadamia nut butter in there, pineapple on top. It comes with your choice of protein on the side. I went for sausage. And then I also couldn't resist smoked Gouda grits. Look at that giant bowl of grits I got on the side there. This is a breakfast of champions, friends. All right, first up, these very, very cheesy looking grits. I love grits. I love Gouda. I'm very excited for this. Mm. Ooh, those are good. Really, really creamy. But you still got your gritty flavor. Lots of Gouda cheese on top. Definitely taste the cheese. I wish it was a little smokier, if I'm being honest. These are excellent grits and a huge serving. Mm. I'm gonna 
put some syrup on these bad boys. And now, look at that. You can actually see the chunks of macadamia nut in there. I'm gonna get a good bite. Put the pancakes and the macadamia nut butter and the syrup, a little pineapple. Mm. All right, unpopular opinion coming in hot. These are better than Tonga toast. I know, I can't believe I said it either, but I love the crunch from the toasted macadamia nut in the pancake. I love the, the pineapple chutney on top, and I don't even love pineapple, but something about being at the Polynesian makes me like pineapple more. Or about butter, the syrup, huge portion of that, definitely shareable. I'm gonna try a little sausage. It comes with your choice of protein, so they've got bacon, we've got sausage, um, they've got some plant-based options. Good breakfast sausage as well. Got a little bit of spice, got a little bit of heat, but I poured syrup on it because I like to pour syrup all over my entire breakfast, which some people don't like, but now you got the sweet, the spicy, the smoky going on. An excellent breakfast here at Kona Cafe. This is so good. Now, one of the best thing about the Polynesian Village Resort, the pools. This has one of the most fun and iconic pools on property, this giant volcano pool right here. This is the main pool at the resort. This is the one that when it gets open, it's still early in the morning, have a nice leisurely stroll. Um, when it gets going, this is gonna be your busy pool, your family pool. This is the one where all the recreation activities are gonna take place, like the trivia and the different games. Um, it has a huge water slide. This is definitely your more fun, loud family pool, but it's absolutely gorgeous. You've got a view of Magic Kingdom. What more could you want in a pool? But there is a second pool here at the Poly we'll check out too. A big draw to the main pool for families is this super awesome kids splash zone area. Um, there are little tiki squirters and places to play in a bucket that will fill up with water and fountains and all kinds of fun things. Um, and then as well as a kids water slide right here. So definitely a fun time if you've got little ones. Probably the highlight for most kids and hey, some adults at the main pool is this volcano slide that goes all the way up to that top of the volcano. So if you're an adventure seeker, this is a fun pool for you. At the main pool here, you do have your pool bar, the barefoot pool bar. This is where you can get all of your delicious tropical island beverages. They've got a lot of the classic Disney pool bar drinks, um, but then they also have got some specialties that you can't get anywhere else. They have got a Dole Whip lime margarita. They've got the Voyager, which is basically a boozy, coconut Dole Whip float inspired by the Kakamora float over at the Magic Kingdom. So that one's amazing. We've got a rose gold margarita here. So if you are looking for a poolside beverage, you're going to want to come to the pool, uh, the barefoot pool bar here at the main pool. And as of very few days ago, they are serving food again. You can order food. It's the same as the other pool bar, the Oasis um, pool bar. It's going to be like burgers, chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, nothing super fancy, but it's nice that you can order it here at the pool and not have to go anywhere else to grab something for lunch. If a quieter pool is more your thing, you can come over to the Oasis pool. This one is kind of in between some of the Disney Vacation Club rooms as well as the regular rooms, but any of the Polynesian guests can use it. Um, this is a very calm and relaxing pool. No recreation activities, no water slide or anything. So if you're looking for a little bit calmer area, this may be the one for you. The Oasis pool does have its own bar and grill called aptly the Oasis Bar and Grill. You can get some pool food here. They've got burgers and chicken and kind of basic items. But what I ate here the last time during a Polynesian video is actually quite good. And it's great that you can grab something to eat here without having to walk over to Great Ceremonial House um, to go to Captain Cook's. But there is bar, there is food right here at the relaxing Oasis pool. You didn't think we were coming to the Polynesian without getting a Dole Whip, did you? Here at Pineapple and I, it's a Dole Whip walk-up window where you can get a variety of Dole Whip flavors, different floats. You can get rum floaters on there. They usually do specialty cones, all kinds of good stuff. But this is a must when you're at the Polynesian. You have to eat a Dole Whip. It's literally required. So obviously that's what we're going to do now. Pineapple Lanai's menu. You can do your cup. You can do your float. You can do a rum floater. Um, they always have the pineapple and vanilla, but they will rotate their other machine with other flavors. So they'll do the lemon sometimes, the lime. I've never seen the coconut here, unfortunately, yet. But right now they've got raspberry and orange as their other flavors in the machine. 
So I am trying the orange and raspberry swirl. Uh, this was brought out as a special Tomatoa float for the reopening of the Polynesian. And it comes in a cone with uh, white chocolate and glitter and stuff on it. But you know me, I just like the cup. So if ever they have a fancy float or a fancy cone or something, you can always just ask for a cup of that ice cream. Mm. Mm. I've never had these two flavors swirled together, but they are fabulous not super super sweet definitely sweet but it has a little tartness as well from the orange from the citrus Ooh, the raspberry is one of my favorite flavors my favorite flavor is the coconut even though that's technically soft serve my second favorite is the lemon but the raspberry is up there for me and this orange is excellent it tastes like a creamsicle with a little tartness and then you've got the raspberry mm. Of course, you can go with the classic pineapple as well. And of course, you can also eat it with a spoon like a normal person, but you just have to have adult when you're at the Polynesian. And I love that they have different flavors here. Well, friends, that is a wrap on our tour of Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. I hope you had fun checking out those new rooms with me, seeing the best that the Polynesian has to eat and drink and offer. Are you staying at the Polynesian? Is this one of your favorite resorts? Definitely let us know down in the comments. Definitely let us know what videos you want to see next. In the meantime, friends, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media at All Ears Net. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly, and it's been magical. If you need me, I'll be right here. Mahalo. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.